everybody, this is Praxis, and today Josh and I are both in the lowest level of the house working on these air vents that are going to go underneath the slab. Josh has been uh, really working to get these uh, paths for them uh, you know, in just the right place and packed down to be just the right depth. It's all, it all kind of needs to be fairly precise because the bricks really want to line up together, and that's what I'm laying down right here with a bunch of cinder block brick. Uh, you can see that there are two runs of it, and again, they're laid on their side so the air can pass right through these two, uh, these two little columns here, columns laid on their side. And the idea is that we're going to be pulling air from upstairs, vent it down through the floor. There's a little gap in the footing right here. It'll come in uh, from there, and it's going to go in to this cinder block here, which is laid on its side. From there, it goes into this little chamber, and... There's all these little chambers that uh, you know kind of have uh, the tunnels splitting off in different directions. This one, one tunnel continues that way, another tunnel continues this way, and I made these uh, these little boards as lids because this is going to have concrete poured right on top, and if we put a concrete right on top like that, it would just fill in the whole void. So it's a lid, but it's also a spacer. I've got these little pads on here, and what these are for is that when we're packing in all of the dirt. If I just started packing in dirt around this area, it would just start pushing these cinder blocks in and against each other. So these are little registration uh, blocks that are meant to kind of keep things in place. There's one on the top for the lid, and there's one on the bottom, so the bottom of the cinder blocks don't slip around. So I got those slipped in there. I also have uh, little plastic pads underneath each area. I don't know how necessary that is. It could just be dirt, but I figured it just it feels a little cleaner if there's like a little plastic pad underneath each one. So that's what we've been doing today. Today is going to, uh, I'm sorry, this week is going to be a very uh, wet, rainy week. Today is supposed to be the driest of the days. It was drizzling earlier today, uh, you know, but you know, it's just a little after lunch now and it's starting to have the sun come out. Um, so this is a project that we'll be able to continue with as it goes through, you know, the, the wet part of the week. But uh, while Josh is doing this, I'm trying to get as much done outside, trying to get the foam up on that wall as best I can, because it, that just works so much better when it's dry. So Josh is working here, I'm working out there, uh, and then for the rest of the week, you know, the next couple videos that you see, is probably going to be Josh and I down in here just getting this all uh, set together. It's a lot of work, but I think it's really going to be worth it to take all that warm air that accumulates up at the top, you know, makes the top levels of the house maybe a little warmer than you'd like, and bring it down under this floor and make uh, what could be a, a cool basement floor, which is great in the summer, but not so great in the basement. I'm sorry, not so great in the winter. Uh, it could make a cool basement floor feel, I, I hope, much warmer. I, you know, I, I haven't, haven't done the math on it. I don't know exactly what the thermal transfer is going to be and like what this... I don't know about all that, but what I do know is that it can't possibly not help at least a little bit. So, so that's why we're doing it. it. As it ended up, uh, I needed, I bought one pallet of cinder blocks, and it seems like I need about two and a half. So I ordered two more. Uh, that'll give us a little bit extra. But for th for this space, which is about uh, you know 14 feet by about uh, 30 feet or so, with uh, them spaced out uh, as I have them here, it's you know, between two and three pallets of cinder blocks, eight by eight by 16. That's it. Thanks for watching.